Hello, this is another quick video from epoxyjewelry.com and what we have today are these new molds and they're very unique in that they have each mold is two parts. So like this part here is one part and this is the second part. Um, some people call them beach molds, coast molds, um, there's other names for them. I don't think anybody's got a perfect name for these yet but the idea is you pour this part uh, as if it were a coastline and colored and then once it's hardened you pull it out you put it in this part and then you put your little bit of blues or clears or whatever to make it look like the ocean and uh, so I'm going to do a quick test with these today I've got multiple types of these I've even got one more type coming that hasn't got here yet and uh I'm going to uh, to set these aside, and I'm going to do this one today. Um, now, I'm not a, really an artist with this kind of stuff, so you guys will probably have much better results than I do. Uh, I'm not so good at picking colors and things like that. But anyways, I'm going to start off. By the way, I'm going to use our new two-part epoxy uh, that is ultra clear, and it's a one-to-one -one mix. We have this on our Etsy store. And uh, it's a little more expensive than our regular two-part epoxy, but uh, it it's worth it if you if you want the really clear stuff and if you want an easy one-to-one -one pour. And uh, this is brand new, so I'm gonna have to open the tops of them up. There we go. There's one. And excuse me, just a second. Shows I wasn't prepared. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take part A. Pour this cup here. I'm going to do 10 cc's of each. And this, I think this will be enough for the entire mold series there, uh, the first parts anyway. Stuff is fairly thick, a little thicker than I thought it was, but that's okay. Okay, there's 10 of that one. Now to part B. And you'll notice I'm doing this in a single container. Um, I'm still going to pour these into a second container and add some colors to it. I'm not even, I've got all my colors and stuff off to the side here. I'm not even sure exactly what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to get my towel. Now, I always suggest that you do this on, that you have a work surface of either silicone or wax paper or something, but this is actually high density polyethylene and nothing sticks to it. So it's kind of like Teflon. So I'm not so worried. I am going to place my spatula on paper towels just, you know, to try to prevent a mess, but it's not terribly important. I'm not doing anything special here. I'm just mixing the epoxy you want to mix it really well, scrape the sides as you're doing it, scrape the bottom. Because if you don't have properly mixed epoxy, it's, it can lead to bad things. Okay, so that's fairly well mixed. Now, um, what I'm going to do is transfer some of this into another cup like that and I'm going to add some color to that one now let's see um I don't really have like browns and stuff which is what I should have for this because of the sand wait a minute don't I have some I do have some of this metal flake that's kind of bronzish brown so I may do that let's let's put a drop of this color in here let's see what I'm going to shake this up first I think this is supposed to be, it's either amber or red. Yeah, it's amber. You know what? That'll be okay. 
a little bit of amber in there. Okay, now I will mix that in. And then I'm going to put a little bit of this metal flake in there. It doesn't take much. A little tiny bit goes a long way. Okay, yeah, I like that. Um, I got more of the metal flake on the on the mixing spoon though than I did in the in the epoxy. There we go. I kind of like that. See, that's that's kind of a beachish kind of color. I don't I don't have the right stuff to make a beach, but you know. We work with what we got. And then I've got these little pipettes here. Now I cut off the first link because they're really small. Now the idea of these is that the bottom layer will end up being the top layer, I guess. I'll have to figure that out once I get there. But if you do something that's pseudo translucent, it gets darker and darker as it goes up. Okay, let me see. Oh, I've way overfilled that. <laughs> well, that's okay. I will just use the pipette to suck a little bit of it off. I'm looking at it horizontally to see how much is on in there as I'm doing this again. I don't do this that often, so it's a little bit uh, of an experiment for me. Okay, I'll get some more epoxy and put it in this one. Then what I'll have to do is wait for these to cure and then come back and do the other part. Just a bit more there. Okay, it looks level. It's not completely into this part of the mold, so I'll just give it a little push. Okay. And now I am not sure. You know what? Let's do a different color on the last one. I've got plenty of epoxy. In fact, I way over overmade. Uh, epoxy so we're going to this one will just be kind of a fun one doesn't have to be perfect and what I like are these um, pearlescent blue that we sell I only have these in large bottles like this and for most people that'll last them years but um, I really do like this color of course, blue is my favorite color. And again, it doesn't take much. Like that much will be more than enough to color that. Now, I'll just mix that in. You see that's very deep color already. I don't need any other coloring for that. That's Perfect. Okay, now use a fresh pipette that's not colored and we'll fill this one in. You can end up with bubbles because of these pipettes, but if you do it right, it, it won't be bad. I need to fill it all the way up without overfilling it. Okay, so let me take a look. Okay, it looks overfilled, but it hasn't gone all the way over into the side. So I'm going to use a little needle tool to just coax it over into the corners. You could use a toothpick for this, or you could even use the end of the pipette, really. Okay, 
like that. Now it is still just a hair overfilled. So again, I will squeeze the pipette, put it on here, and just let go and suck up a little bit of the epoxy. And it looks pretty good. Okay. Now, I just have to wait for those to uh, cure. And then we'll demold them and go on with the next part. Be right back. All right. It's been um, overnight. And uh, I've got my mold here. These should be cured now. And I, with the leftovers, I did a couple of these too. So here's what we're going to do. Take that and pop that out of there. And you can see what that looks like. Kind of cool. Put that in there. Same thing with this one. Put it in there. And finally this one. Put it in there. Like that. Okay. You see something here. Okay, now, I'm going to mix up some more epoxy, and let me mark my container here. What I do is I like to mark um, on the side of the container a little mixing deal. I like to mark the two spots. So I've got 10 cc and 20 cc marked off so that when I put the epoxy in, um, I fill the first one up to 10 cc and the next one up to 20 cc. Okay. And what I do is I get down and level with the uh, cup so I can see it really well. The uh, part A is a thicker part, so it takes a little longer to dispense it. Okay, that's to the line. Now part B. This one's a lot thinner, so it's easier to dispense. Comes out quicker. But I do want to be accurate. You don't want to accidentally overshoot it, you know? Okay. Part B. Now we can mix this up. Now, I am going to add just a small amount of translucent blue to kind of make this look a little bit like water. And I definitely don't want to add too much. So I am literally going to take just a drop. Whoop, two drops. Okay, that should still be fine. Um, mix this up. Yeah, that's looking better. Don't forget to scrape the sides of the thing as you're doing it. Get it all nice and mixed in there. Yeah, see that's just a, a nice pale blue, which is what I want. Oh, I did not get myself a pipette. I will let me see. I got one over here. Okay. All right. You can never over mix the epoxy, so just remember that. 
Okay, all these are all the way down the bottom. I'm going to pull the blue in. And fill her up. Now, I'm going to look at that and see. Yeah, I've overfilled it. No big deal. Just suction up a little bit of it. And it's still over full. A little bit more. Okay. That's not bad. Um, I am going to add a little bit more of the dye to it because I can barely see any blue in that once I get it in there mix it up really well okay then we'll go to the next one fill that in Now this one's got a spot on this side too, so I have to fill them both in. Now, look and see. It's okay. This one here, I overdid it last time, so it's kind of sticking up. Not sure how that's going to turn out, but come over and fill this one in now. A little bit more. Again, I'm not an expert using epoxy I just know a lot about the epoxy itself so you guys are probably have a lot better luck <laughs> with these than me but that's not bad okay let's see that looks pretty pretty level okay now go ahead and do these two here now this one I used the little bit of blue I had left over and added green um, so let's see that's oh is that this one okay that's that one um, and then this one here was just pretty much just green and that's gonna be this one right here okay and I'll now fill those up. Look at these from the side. Okay, this one's good, but the other one needs a little more. A little more. And that should be good. Okay, now let these all cure again overnight, and we'll unmold them tomorrow. Thanks for watching.
right, and we are back to unveil the finished product. It's actually been a few days because it's been very, very hot around here. Uh, too hot to film with my air conditioner off. And so, here you go. Take a look at that. And there's that one. Here's the blue one. And undo the little spares I did over here. Final one. So anyway, that's that's how this works, and you can see through the side there, um, the way that it works with the steps. I'm not I'm not an artist at doing this kind of thing, but uh, I know that you guys can make stuff that's amazing. Anyway, that's it. That's these type of molds. And uh, they're going to be on our Etsy store as well. I'll put a link down below. And uh, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.